This is ESPN on ABC. Brought to you in part by Samsung QLED TV, the official TV of ESPN College Football. Three weeks from yesterday, a new year will kick off right here at the college football playoff semifinal at the Rose Bowl. Tonight, this venerable stadium plays host to the 90th Crosstown Rivalry Game. USC's Keaton Slovis and Amon Ross St. Brown, two rising stars for the Trojans. Clay Helton's team has already advanced to next week's Pac-12 championship game, but capturing the victory bell tonight won't be easy. Chip Kelly has UCLA playing its best football since he took over three years ago because of Demetric Felton and quarterback Dorian Thompson Robinson. The Bruins trying to get to 4-2 and two for the first time since 2015. It's the Battle of Los Angeles, USC, and UCLA from Pasadena. The two schools located just 14 miles from one another. And hi, everybody. I'm Dave Pash alongside Greg McElroy. And as you look at USC, Greg, it's a team that obviously losing 12 games in the last two years, there was a lot of heat on the program, and Clay Helton in particular. But they get off to a good start, 4-0. Haven't been 5-0 since 2006. The biggest reason why might be their quarterback, Keaton Slovis, playing as well as anybody in the conference right now. He's fantastic. And when you look at a quarterback's development, you look at it in a few different ways. Understanding his offense. That's the first way he's really grown and developed. Graham Harrell, the offensive coordinator, brought that air raid strategy here to USC. And my goodness, has Keaton Slovis taken off in it. Doesn't like what he sees to the left, but no problem, no panic. Just a little retreat, allow your feet to talk to you. That's a great job of getting through the progression. But I love this right here, the movement in the pocket. Last year, he would have a little pressure. He'd slide up and he'd run. Now, he's sliding up. He's moving ever so slightly to his left while maintaining a passing posture and throwing a perfect strike on the sideline. And this throws off the charts. Third down, you're getting man-to-man -man coverage across the board, press man. You know exactly where to go with the football. And you throw it 49 yards into the bucket. Absolutely perfect throw on third down. He's a big reason why this USC program, program has really taken the next step this year. He's been accurate. And really, the last time we saw him against Washington State just a few days ago, that might have been the best he's ever been. All right, on the other side, UCLA. If you're a Bruin fan, you've got to be encouraged, right, with what you've seen from Chip Kelly's team here the last uh, couple games. They've grown a lot. And there are a lot of reasons why I'm really encouraged by the trajectory of this UCLA program. If you look at him, he's been around this game a long time. Of course, unbelievable success at Oregon. He then went on to the NFL, where I think he was just there too early. If you look at what they're doing in the NFL now, everybody's running some type of college principles. Of course, his best year at ESPN with us in 2017. And then he, of course, found a home here the last few years, and he is down on the field with our Allison Williams. Coach Kelly, I know during the week you want your team focused on themselves and the process, but when you come out here and you see USC and their home colors, does it feel a little different? Well, it feels different because there's nobody else in the stands. You know, it's just us versus them. Um, once the game starts, you always just focus on the opponent, but it is a little different, but it's 2020. Everything's different this year. No. Uh, but USC has their same quarterback from last year, Keaton Slovis. He had a big game against you guys last year. Oh, He's yeah. completing over 70% of his passes this year. What do you guys have to do well against him? we got to disrupt the timing of the whole offense. You know, we need to disrupt the timing of the receivers, uh, and we got to generate a pass rush. Um, you just can't let him sit back here and pick you apart. He's too good a player, and, and uh, we know we got our work cut out for us. Chip, thanks for the time. Booger, back in the, back in the room. Uh, you're our shop steward, and I hope the food's good today. <laughs> You know, former ESPN studio host Chip Kelly getting in the spirit before a big game. It's another chapter in perhaps the greatest intra-city rivalry in college football. I'm not your friend. The Battle of Los Angeles. There it is. Touchdown, Moore. Reggie Bush to the corner. Too much at stake. Dorian Thompson-Robinson. Touchdown, Bruins. It's USC and UCLA. 